so Don, you got into the starting lineup uh, this last game. What did you like about how not only you performed, but also the, the defense? I mean, that's just the standard. I feel like, you know, we practiced that all week. You know, we our thing is just swarm to the ball and just play, you know, together and just have fun, you know, so. I mean, doing it all week in practice and then being able to go out and do it on Saturday, I mean, it just, or Friday, it just felt like, you know, really good. And how's it been for the defense trying to navigate through all these injuries? <sighs> it's been, it's been rocky, but I feel like, you know, every time the next man up comes up, I mean, they're just as ready as the, you know, the guy who was starting was, you know, so I feel like everyone's just as ready as, you know, the next man up. Um, for Owen, how would you compare and contrast Houston's style of offense to TCU's style of offense? Yeah, um, TCU, I think, is the sixth or seventh best passing offense in the country, so that's kind of the biggest thing. And I think um, statistically, Houston, honestly, I don't know if they were that great statistically. Um, so I guess TCU is more explosive. Um, they got, I think, a better player overall, number three on TCU. So um, we'll be keeping an eye on him, and I'd say those are the biggest things. Dominic, we'll see when Stanley got your uh, your punch outs, 10 plus yards downfield. Mm-hmm. What kind of, speak to that level of, of play and what allows you guys as defensive linemen kind of to, to get that far down to pursue the ball and be able to make plays like that? I mean, yeah, like I say, you know, we always swarm to the ball. You know, you never know what running to the ball can do for you. And like, it did just what we expected it to do. You know, we just pop the ball out and the first guy catches the tackle and then the next guy just tries to, you know, get the ball out and obviously give our offense a chance to score, you know. And bro, I mean, just, uh, you know, Genesis game was just awesome. Yeah. What's it like kind of being back there with him and then kind of him taking a leadership role with all the other guys? Yeah, I mean, he's a baller. Um, Coach Akina has been preaching it, learned concepts, and I think he's he's great at that. And he's so instinctive, and I think – we we all knew it, and that was kind of his coming out game. Even though he's been making plays the whole year, that was like he put the he put the nation on notice. Um, and you know we're extremely happy for him, and, but we're not surprised. Like we see that in practice every day, and so when he does it on the field, you know it's just another day for Jen. So, Justin, uh, question for both. So the tackling for a little bit seemed to be an issue. Did you guys clean that up last game? How did you guys go about improving that? Yeah, just um, being physical in practice being intentional with practice, um, taking the right steps, whether it's your leverage, uh, having the right foot up when you tackle, um, keeping your leverage point so you can fall back, just hammering the details and the coaches hammered that home and kind of made those adjustments. And that new defensive scheme that you guys brought in where you guys didn't know whether you're blitzing or, or dropping back, what, what does a defense like, do, like that do for you guys? Um, I mean, it helps us get pressure on uh, the quarterback. It helps us get plus plays, whether that's a sack, whether that's um, a QB hurry, whether that's making the QB throw the ball off balance and make it a play like Genesis did on a pick. Um, and, yeah, that's the biggest thing, just having plus plays with that defense. Uh, for Dominic, when did you find out that you were starting? I found out I was starting, I think, it was Monday, last Monday. Or, yeah, no, Sunday, matter of fact, because we had our schedule pushed back a little bit, so I think it was Sunday. It was, I think it was your first career start. Yeah. How did you feel out there? Were you nervous? No, nah, I mean – I've, I've been playing a lot, you know, getting my feet wet. And, you know, it's just it's the same thing. You know, second second string or starter, you know, it's the same job, you know, out there with the same guys. So, I mean, I just had fun with it. A question for both of you. Um, Coach Brennan was talking about uh, when, he, when you look at the film, you want to see that you are giving greater effort than the other team. Is there a difference between maybe thinking that you're doing that and then maybe actually seeing it when you, when you look back at um, I mean, I think when you just have an emphasis like that, when the coach is hammering that home, I feel like you're going to see that show up more on tape, whether it's um, subconsciously you're doing it. When you have the coaches telling you, you're going to just play with better effort, I feel like. Even though the coaches shouldn't have to push us to have better effort, it's just a reminder. Dave? Oh, and just for you, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, the, the, the mountain is high. you got to win these last two games to get the guy to where you guys want to be. Just, just where's the team right now mentally after getting the win uh, and, and now the focus being reshifted back to what has to happen this week on the road? Yeah, um, I think obviously not satisfied. We we have to just go 1-0 like Coach Brown's been saying since um, whatever week. Um, just focus on each rep, focus on each practice and um, obviously we got the team up north coming up in a week or two but 
can't focus on that. We got to focus on uh, TCU, and that's kind of where we're at. Just win, win one game, and then go to the next. How would you describe Jack back there? He just seems like a real kind of fiery, yeah. exciting kind of kid at the yeah. back end of the defense. Yeah, no, that's Jack. He uh, he plays with passion. He plays with his heart on his sleeve, um, and he's going to go out there and he's going to put his body on the line for the team, and that's. Uh, that's something when you come in, Coach Aquino always talked about it. Um, when you're a new player like him and me, it's like you got to earn the respect of the locker room. And um, you do that by playing with a passion and fire and kind of reckless abandonment with your body. And he does that, and the locker room loves it. So, Justin? Uh, we talked to Joey Capra yesterday, and he said he, when he first got here, he was kind of worried about being the new guy. Uh, did you have any of those fears, and how did you kind of integrate yourself in the defense? Um, I, I mean, I didn't really have any fears. It's kind of. It's just football, you know, I've been used to that. Um, and how did I integrate myself in the defense? I'd say, like I just said about Jack, like you gotta earn the respect of the locker room by what you do on the field. You gotta be uh, smart, dependable, and tough. And you do that by practicing really tough. And if you do that, you, you earn the respect of the <coughs> locker room. And that's kind of what my approach was coming in. And then how's it been for, for you this year? Just only year in Arizona, how would you describe it? It's been awesome. Um, it's been fun, you know, new environment coming from the East Coast. so. That's kind of been an adjustment, but the locker room's been great. The guys have been awesome, um, and obviously the football has been, been awesome. And um, this big of an environment of football compared to Colgate, we'd get like 2,000 fans, so it's a big difference. Um, but, yeah, it's been awesome. Um, if you look at you guys' um, schedule and results, um, most of the home games have been either close losses or wins. Aside from Utah, there have been a lot of struggles on the road. What can you learn from – previous road games that you can apply to this game so that you're in a better frame of mind? I'd say just, just game planning. It's better game planning. You know, we just got to execute, you know, the game plan with fanatical effort and just continue to just do what we do. Um, as a defense, obviously, the offense is going to have to do what they have to do. But, I mean, all that stuff's behind us. You know, we're just looking forward now. We're looking forward to TCU, and that's really it. That's really all on our minds. Yeah, I'd say um, – We've been in these environments. We, I mean, Utah was a crazy good environment. Um, BYU was awesome. And so I feel like we've gotten them under our belt. And you, you, you know what you're expecting. Or you're expecting, like, a huge environment when you go in there. So, um, you know, that, that'll help us with that experience, I'd say. TCU's going to think it's family weekend. Um, the coaches were saying so it'll be a packed crowd, sold out. Um, and, you know, we're ready for that because we've, we've had that this year. So, David? Oh, and there were a number of times during fall camp when you were just – like 25 yards behind the defense when you were in there just taking mental reps. Where did you learn that process of, of kind of staying mentally involved in the ball game and, and, and maybe some of the things you're looking at uh, and looking for in those instances? Yeah, so I'd say I started doing that my, uh, my junior year spring at Colgate, actually, because I had surgery on my shoulder. So I wasn't able to practice, but um, I kind of just would stand back at practice and just go through my steps every time. So I started doing that um, junior year at Colgate. Um, and it's good because it helps you see the whole offense and whole defense and the structure of it. And um, you can just see everything and go through your steps. So, yeah, I've been doing that for a while now. Any more questions? Michael? Dominic, I think your uh, listed weight as a freshman was 240 uh, coming into this year, 250. What, what's your weight at? And what's, been, what's that process been like just trying to get bigger? I'm, I'm at about like 245. I think the weight that I'm at is fine. I just want to. I just felt like I still have a little bit of baby fat. You know, I'm still a young guy. But obviously, it's just gonna, it's going to come with the game. I'm going to keep growing, keep getting better, and just uh, get my diet right, you know, with our nutritionists that we just got. You know, so that's really it. Were you um, standing up or hand on the ground for the most part of the season? I'd say a little bit of both. You know, if we if I obviously know that it's probably going to be a run, a heavy run, I'd probably put my hand in the dirt. But if I think it's going to be, you know, pass or RPO, I'd probably two-point stance to just give me that leverage to be able to read what they're going to do. Do you have the discretion to make that choice, or is that, like, part of Yeah, the, I'd say so. It's not, like, something that I have to do, whether if I'm in a two-point stance or three-point stance. You know, it's, I feel like it's pretty much up to me and how comfortable I am playing the position for the most part. What has it been like having a guy like Trey Smith – uh, in, the, in the room this year, older guy who's kind of been through the wars. I love it, man. Like, yeah, I think our defense is obviously built on trust. You know, you got to be able to trust the guys that you're playing with, you know, be able to do your 1-11. And I know that, you know, when he's over there on the other side, I know that he's going to do his part. I'm going to do my part. And 
you know, we're just continuing to communicate and just keep doing our thing, doing what we've been doing. And obviously, you know, when we do that, it shows up. Last question to Justin. Uh, so for Don, earlier in the, the year, uh, coaches were talking about how maybe you guys were kind of playing out of assignment or maybe getting too far afield. How did you guys maybe correct some of those things early on in the season? Obviously, you know, we just took a look at the film, you know, and it was just – corrected everything that we, like you just said, you know, going upfield or, you know, just getting out of proportion, you know, we just had to tighten up and just be real with ourselves and just, you know, do what's right, you know, study the team we're going against and just have a good game plan for, you know, what they have to offer. All right, that's your time. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Appreciate yep. it.